Good morning. It's Tuesday. I did not sleep last night for, for anything. Like, I really didn't sleep very well at all. I'm attempting to make coffee before my physical therapist comes. She's supposed to be here any minute. And she's usually very punctual. <laughs> I haven't had any coffee. I'm kind of cranky. I really didn't sleep very well. And Justin and I had a very rough morning. <sighs> so, I'm not even going to get into what happened. All I can say is, I did not have a good morning. So, hopefully we'll get through today. So physical therapy went really well today. And actually, I was able to walk all the way from my door to the end of the driveway and about a third of the way back and um, before I got winded. And then I rested for a little while and we did more these new exercises that I have to do um, with my walker. And I did really good and she's really impressed with me like she's like it's crazy how awesome you're doing and um, I still am not allowed to go back to work until after my tests in November but she's impressed and she thinks she only needs to come one more time and then I get to actually um, work with Jess or anybody who wants to help me um, on my own until after my MRA so that's exciting. I'm so proud of myself. Like, that sounds so conceited, I'm sorry, but like, I feel like I've come so far in so little time, and that's what they keep saying, and just, I just wish my head would stop hurting, but I know that that's gonna be a while. Hey guys, good morning. Afternoon. Did you miss that? Because I did. Um, today it makes 21 days since surgery. Um, three weeks I've survived and it feels uh, really crazy amazing to say that like I'm actually really excited to say it um, I'm so grateful to all of you for like the support and the prayers and everything like I could not be more grateful this whole thing if anything has just made all the little things just amazing to me and, um, it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. So next week makes a month and I'm just going to keep going and keep fighting and keep praying and keep fighting some more and, you know, looking to the future and being positive because it's super important. And, uh, here's to more weeks. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's 11.53, so actually it's still morning. I'm cooking myself some lunch. Cooking. It's in the microwave. Um, I woke up before it was time to take my pills this morning, and I was in a lot of pain. I had fallen asleep on my heating pad, which wasn't good. Um and my asthma was acting up and it was like a really bad morning this morning and I was grumpy and I'm just, I'm tired of being in pain. I'm tired of all of the things that are going along with this. It's been 22 days and I've tried to keep a positive attitude, but you know, some days are harder than others and today's one of those days where I'm like, oh my God, I've about had enough of this shit. <laughs> like, I'm tired of getting up at eight o'clock in the morning and taking blood thinners. I'm tired of being careful with myself. I'm tired of us not being able to sleep in the same bed because he tosses and turns and hit me, you know, hits me in his sleep and he can't hit me in the head so we can't chance it and it's just been hell and I'm like, I just gotta get through this. Like, I just have to get through it. So frustrating. So my mom just called and I lost it on the phone crying because today is just not the day. Um, 
to be TMI, I had to call my doctor because I'm, I'm having some uh, not so pretty things happen from the Foley I had in, aka the catheter. So I had to call them and be like, what do I do? Um, is this normal? So I'm just waiting on a phone call. I don't think it's normal. And uh, I've been watching Jenica and Annika all day. This is like another YouTube I've just gotten obsessed with. I love them. They're so cute. Um, obviously, you guys have noticed how bad my hair has looked um, the past couple vlogs. It is breaking off severely and just falling out. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just, just hell falling out. Like, y'all saw my wig. I told you to small out, but like, look, there's some more. It's bad. It's just, I'm gonna have like hair up to like here soon. Um, and this is all gonna be gone underneath. Oh, this shit is not easy. And I'm just having one of those days. Hey, it's Friday. Good morning. It's actually morning this morning again. And, uh, I woke up, so that's great news. And I'm sitting here at my messy desk. <laughs> and I'm putting on makeup. For once. <laughs> Sometimes I just get in a mood where I have to sit down and put on makeup because I get sick of looking sick all the time. It's not, it's not cute, you know? <clears throat> so anyway, today, um, here in less than an hour, my physical therapist will be here again. I, and, uh, God willing, today is supposed to be my last day of physical therapy, as long as I do good. And I have no reason to think I won't. Yesterday was a bad day. I felt really crappy. I didn't film at all yesterday. Um, I felt really just crap, like, the whole day. But, um, I know that I'll have bad days and good days, so happens. I rested the whole day and slept off and on, so hopefully I feel better. Um, so I will report back after physical therapy and let you know. Okay, so I'm a little emotional, but I'm gonna try to, um, film this and I'm probably just gonna end the video because I'd like to end things on a good note. Um, I still have some hurdles that I'm facing, um, but I have officially been discharged from physical therapy. I can walk the driveway with no walker, with no help. Um, I didn't get winded. My hips hurt. It's to be expected because of, you know, I, I don't get that much physical activity right now, except for what I'm trying to do for myself to get my strength back, and obviously it's working. So I have officially been discharged, and I can do things on my own from a certain level. And uh, I just have to work on, like I said, a few things. Um, I'm having some, I already explained it earlier, but also I have to work on stimuli because of my um, anxiety episodes that, like, are happening but it's okay because I'm working on it and I'm getting better and better and um I just want to thank everybody for this their support and their love because this is really trying and I know that I make it look easy but honestly after having an illness for 22 years that you didn't know what it was and then having to have brain surgery you kind of learn how to cope with things on a certain level that you didn't know that you could cope with so, um, this is by no means easy. So if you see this video and you're like, how come you make it look easy? I, it's, it's not easy. And I know it's not easy. And if you ever need to talk, you just, 
let me know because I know that this is not easy for anyone. It just makes me really emotional to talk about, but I'm gonna get through this, and I'm gonna, and I'm already a better person for it. I'm already so much more compassionate and much more grateful than I think I ever have been, and um, I can't wait till I'm all better. Um, dealing with pain in my head is hard, especially for so long, you know. And, uh, I'm so happy right now that I accomplished something, something big. Getting out of that hospital bed, that first video, and not being able to walk was horrifying. Because I thought I had lost my ability to walk forever. And I thought I was going to have to learn how to walk all over again. And, uh, I'm a performer. Those of you who know me know that, or that have watched my videos for a while, you guys know that. And to have that taken away from me is, I mean, COVID took it away first, but to physically have things taken from you that are beyond your control are heart-wrenching. Because I just thought that I was going to bounce back, and I was going to have a disease, and they were going to give me a pill for it. And I was going to get right back on stage after COVID, and everything was going to be kosher. But, you know, it didn't happen that way. And I guess when you really love something, God just makes you fight for it or whatever you believe in. I'm not shoving my beliefs down your throat by any means. But whatever you believe in really forces you to really work for it. And when I say work for it, my God, how much do you love something, you know? So, I am working for it. I'm working to come back and be a whole person. And hopefully people see a better change in me. And hopefully I'll actually be more of a full person and not be as sick all the time um, when I'm healed. So, <sighs> thank you for watching my video. I'm sorry that my vlogs are so long right now, but I just want you guys to be updated and to know what I'm going through in case you're going through it and you're watching this video. So, um... I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm so, I'm so grateful for you guys. So grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I can't say it enough at all. Um, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will keep updating and things are going to get better and more and more, um, videos that are not like sad and hard are going to eventually happen because I'm working really hard to get there. Alright, I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, y'all.